Hey guys, back with another plan with me this week. We are planning from February 8th through the 14th. It is Valentine's Day week and we kind of have a busy week, so um, it should be a little bit heavier in stickers than it normally is. Just to show you what last week looked like, I did kind of a purple and black theme. The week before that, I just didn't like it at all, so I kind of went, this was the week before, it was just, I don't know, I just didn't care for it. So I kind of went with like a basic one color, simple layout, and I ended up really liking it. I always tag the shops that I purchase my stickers from on Instagram, so if you are looking for a certain sticker that I have on here, just head over to my Instagram, which is at livingthewifelife, and you should be able to find all the shoppable links there. So this week is going to be a little bit different. I am part of a Facebook group called, I think it's called Same But Different Week. I will link their actual Facebook group below. Um, I heard about it through EE e. Plans, which is another planner girl who films Plan With Me's. If you haven't seen her Plan With Me's, you should definitely check them out. They are definitely one of my favorites. But basically what you do is you go online and you all order the same sticker kit, which this one is from Caitlin & Co. It's from a different sticker company every time. And right now it's primarily Australian based. So so it, the shipping takes a little bit longer, but I ordered it when they released which kit they were using, and I got it with plenty of time to use it in my planner. So again, these are from Caitlin & Co. I will link her Etsy store below, but basically just a like decorative sheet, a full box sheet, half boxes, and more functional stickers. And then once you decorate your planner, you post it on Instagram and Facebook and kind of compare how everyone uses stickers differently. It's kind of interesting to see how everyone uses the same sticker pack differently. And usually the sticker company offers a discount code for um, the people in the group. So it wasn't too bad. I think I paid like $8 for this set and it's just fun to participate in. The other thing I'm going to be using is this Doodlebug washi, which I purchased on Amazon. After seeing it on Happy Place Planning's Instagram, I knew I had to have it, so I purchased this on Amazon. I don't know what stores, like brick and mortar stores, actually sell Doodlebug washi. If you know, please let me know in the comments below because Doodlebug washi is one of my favorites, but I can never find it in store and it's kind of pricey when you purchase it separately on Etsy or um, Amazon. Let's start by layering my washi down below. I usually cover up this checklist box just because I know it's a checklist. I don't need it to say that. I actually wish it wasn't there because it's kind of dark and through a lot of my washi you can see it, but it's fine. And I'm using my Artist Loft palette knife to trim it. This was purchased at Michael. I go over it in detail in a what's in my pencil case video that I recently put up, so I will link that below and in a card for you guys. And last week I skipped writing in the weather. I think I'm gonna do that this week again, just cause like I said, I have the Apple Watch, so if I'm looking to check the weather, I can do that right from my wrist. So I'm gonna hold off on doing that. And plus I kinda wanna cover up the purple because I'm going to be doing more of like a pink and teal theme. So I'm going to use the morning stickers that I get customized from ErinCondren.com and just match them as best I can to the Caitlin & Co stickers. to do is lay down a weekend banner sticker and this kit does come with a weekend banner so I'm gonna put that right below my morning routine stickers on my weekend and then I want to use these little pink coffee cups because I go out for coffee on Mondays and Fridays but I don't know who they're from because there's nothing on the actual sheet but they kind of feel like a Libby and Co sticker but I'm not 100% sure on that. These are a little bit bigger than I like to use, but they're pink and they kind of go with this week's layout. I don't know in the group, like if you're supposed to use stickers from other kits, but there's certain stickers that I have to have in my planner in order for it to be what I want it to be. So I just included them. And to write that in, I am using my Sharpie medium point pen. I purchased that on Amazon. And then Monday is my sister's birthday. So 
I'm gonna see if I have something in this kit to indicate that. I don't have anything in the kit, so I'm gonna use one of my Christiane Designs little skinny birthday stickers. I like these a lot because they indicate a birthday, but they are pretty small, so they don't take up too much of your space. You could even put them up here if you don't want it to take up any of your actual planning space. And then the other thing we have is a Girl Scout meeting, which I can use one of these for. And these are a glossy sticker, so I need to use a permanent pen on them. And my favorite permanent pen is my Le Pen permanent, which was sent to me in a rack. But I've heard you can purchase these from either Amazon or also from Hobby Lobby. And I need to remember to bring cash to her meeting because I have to pay for her play tickets. So I'm just going to use one of these little teardrops and then put the amount that I need to bring. Okay, and then on Tuesday we have an early dismissal. So I think I'm just going to use one of these little heart ones. And then I'll take a school bus sticker and layer it on top of there just so I remember about that. And this little school bus is from Lily Henry. And then on Thursday, we have a tour of a preschool for my daughter, and also I have a haircut. I'm gonna use one of my, I'm gonna use one of my emoji stickers, and I think a half box. And then we have a preschool open house for my little one. Well, she's not so little anymore, I guess, but I'm gonna layer this open house sticker, which is from Lily Henry. And I just put that Lily Henry sticker above my haircut because it's from four to seven, so we'll probably go right before. And then Friday is payday, which I don't usually track, but just for the fun of it, I will. I'm just gonna use an Erin Condren, I think they're called the do it all dots on top of this little page flag and put it up here I think just so it doesn't take up too much room and then we have another birthday on Friday and then we have Girl Scout cookie delivery so that means we're going to be distributing cookies to all of our friends and family who bought them. I'm going to take this little Girl Scout sticker and layer it I think maybe with this heart use up some of the stickers and use my Le Pen just to write in cookie delivery and then Sunday is Valentine's Day but it's also my mother-in-law's birthday February is like between February and March is like our busy busiest birthday and anniversary month so I'm be using a lot of those Chrissy and Design stickers. But that was it for pre-planning. I think I am gonna take one of these half boxes, or one of these full boxes, cover up this calendar, the checklist header, and we are making a trip to Disney, so I'm going to use these little post-its that I've got from the Disney store in, like from the actual Disney parks in Orlando and do like a countdown for that. And just because I don't think it's gonna stick that well, cause it's like only sticky kind of towards the bottom. They're meant to be more of a post-it than a sticker. I'm just gonna use my little adhesive roller, add a little bit more stickiness to it. And then I'm gonna take my jelly roll pen and write on that because it is a black surface. So you kind of need something white or silver to go over it. And then I'm just gonna kind of scatter these little checklists throughout for things that I want to get done um, during the week. And then just to decorate a little bit more, I'm gonna use some of these half boxes or full boxes and just kind of decorate with the stickers. 
And then down here, I use it as a checklist for things that I want to get done every day, which is pretty much the same. I forgot to check these off, but it's pretty much the same every week, which is bringing my email to zero, doing like a quick cleanup of my house, and then packing my lunch for my daughter. Monday is going to be sent, spent grocery shopping and running errands. I'm going to use this big grocery bag sticker from Mila Print Shop. And it is glossy, so I'm going to use a permanent pen to write on it. And then on the side, I'm going to write in my master to-do list. To do that, I'm going to take one of these to-do lists with like a little half box again just to kind of use them up and incorporate some Valentine's Day colors. And then I'm going to use this little vacuum sticker because on Wednesday I kind of want to do like a quick clean of my house just to make sure I mean I do a, like a, t a quick tidy every day but just like a little bit deeper making sure that I put away all the clutter and all that stuff and then a Friday night is always family night in my house so I'm going to use one of her little icon stickers which is a TV because we usually we um, rent movies and get like carry out I'm going to use, I think, both of these, the TV and the little fork and knife and a half box. I think that's it so far for like pre-planning but I am gonna go through quickly and just use up some of these stickers because it's Valentine's Day week and although typically I like a cleaner spread I think it's fun to use themed stickers when it is a holiday should about do it definitely a lot more decorative than I am used to but still cute and I like the idea of being in that group and just having just being able to see how everyone's minds works differently and creatively if you have any questions feel free to leave them below other otherwise I will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching I wanted to kind of stick to basic colors just because last week was just like I don't know I just wasn't feeling it last week it was just all over the place.